Okay, hello, welcome everybody. Um, uh, hopefully you are here for the virtual open day for the women's education uh, side of uh, Richmond and Hillcroft Adult Community College. Uh, thank you for joining us on such a lovely hot day. Um, we won't keep you long, we just obviously you're here because you're interested in the courses that we offer and we just want to go um, do, give you an overview of those courses and a bit more information on the next steps if you're interested in applying to any of them. Uh, so um, I'm here uh, with my colleagues Jackie and Graham. Um, I can't see you or hear you, but if you want to ask any questions, then you should be able to access the live uh, Q&A box and put any questions in there. And even my colleagues will answer those questions straight away by typing back to you, or there'll be a little bit of time at the end of the presentation uh, for us to, to then deal with them and, and answer your questions then. Okay, uh, so hopefully you can all see and hear me. I know that sometimes people um, come on to, to these virtual um, events and they can only hear or see. So I am going to be reading out what's on the slides as well, so that if you can't see them, then hopefully at least you'll get the information by listening to me. Um, so as I said, um, I, I'm, this is an open day for the Hillcross Women's Education side of RAC. Um, my name is Sarah O'Hanlon and I am the Outreach and Progression Officer for Women's Education. Um, and Graham, who is here with me as well to, to maybe answer any questions you have later, is the head of the Women's Education and of the Hillcroft Centre. Um, I'm guessing there's probably a mix of you who have come today. Um, maybe some of you are actually new to RAC and others of you maybe have done courses before but I'm interested in what we have to offer over the summer and in the autumn term. Um, if you haven't been to us before, um, we've got the Park Shot campus which actually there's a picture of on this, this first slide here. Um, but the Hillcroft Women's Education, when we are on site, is actually based in Surbiton, and this is a picture of, of the site here on this slide. It's actually a really exciting time for us at the moment because the Women's Education side is celebrating their centenary this year, so um, 100 years of women's education, um, and we actually have um, a few activities. Obviously, because of the situation at the moment um, with COVID and the lockdown, we've had to amend these slightly. Um, we were going to have um, a celebration in October, which hopefully still will be going ahead, uh, but it might be more virtually. We are going to have um, an exhibition, which we're going to work with uh, Kingston Heritage Service to create, which is going to actually just highlight some of uh, what's been happening over the last 100 years with Hillcroft, um, Hillcroft Women's Education. Um, and we'll also have a writing competition as well. Uh, we've got a writer in residence at the moment, uh, Jess Kitt. Um, if you uh, you may have heard of her, she's uh, writing her fourth book at the moment, and she actually used to study at Richmond and Hillcroft Adult Community College. Uh, she's doing some sessions and um, courses and workshops at the minute, and we've got a writing competition, which means that any student can submit work, and that is all part of this celebration of 100 years of, of Hillcroft. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me and you're following me OK. Um, as I said, remember, if you do have any questions at any time, just use that live chat box. Um, why choose Hillcroft? OK, so we offer a wide range of women only courses. Uh, we provide holistic information, advice and guidance. Our curriculum is designed to help women develop and progress. We provide a welcoming and supportive environment. And we have fee concessions and bursaries um, available often on most of our courses. And we also offer free childcare as well. So if you have been to us, you probably know this. Um, if you haven't, it's a really um, lovely environment to come and study in. As you saw from the picture before, it's not your usual um, college environment. It's a beautiful old building. We've got beautiful grounds. And we really do help you to um, access education again if you've had a break from it or if you're not sure what you want to study. Um, and we offer such a variety of different courses from just short one off courses to weekend courses and then help you to find what you want to do, but also give you that additional support uh, so that you can then um, go on to do more vocational courses and, and qualifications as well. So just a little bit of information about um, 
for studying at RAC at the moment with this current situation. We are really following government guidelines closely. So recently, obviously, the, the college hasn't been open at all, both sites at Richmond, Parkshot in Richmond or Hillcroft and Surbiton. Um, we've been doing a lot of our courses online instead uh, because obviously the safety of you, our learners and staff is, is paramount to us. Um, when we do slowly start to return to be on site and teach face to face, we're going to have much smaller class sizes. Um, we're going to have increased cleaning and new hygiene stations, um, managed entrance and exits to the campus so there's not too many people in the building at one time. The learners of you will be spaced out um, at your workstations and so will staff, you know, and so just to minimise that, that risk of, 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 of spreading anything. And we're going to have more online courses. So we're going to continue some of the online courses we've been doing online because they've worked really well. Um, and then we're actually going to have blended options. So that's a mix of face to face um, teaching and online teaching as well. Maths are optional, so we're obviously doing a lot um, to make the environment safe, but if you want to come in and wear masks, then that's absolutely fine. But we're making sure that the environment, if when you do come in it, is really clean and we are following, as I said, all of the government guidelines closely. So from September, so obviously we're coming to the end of our term now and the new term starts in September. Um, we um, are going to be continuing and expanding our online offer. As I said, it's been really successful. Um, some classes will be delivered on site, some will be a mix of classroom and online, and some will still be delivered completely online. So just following up from that, even though we've just come into the end of, of one term and I'm talking about um, September, and I'm not sure obviously there's probably a mix of, of you listening to me right now. Uh, some of you might just be interested in coming back to education and maybe you're not quite sure what you want to study. Um, others of you, maybe you already have your courses in mind. Um, but I'm guessing that you maybe you're thinking, you know, it's, it's New Year, September, what am I going to do then? We still have a few courses actually coming up over summer which are being delivered online and uh, which you can still sign up to um, and here's a little list here and um, so we've got some of our writing courses so the writing courses that you see here and um, so the writing animals and nature uh, the writing monologues um, and the short stories they're all delivered by Jess Kidd who I mentioned before is our um, current uh, writer in residence and um, all of these courses are quite short um, so if you did, if you were interested in any of them and just wanted to see what it is like uh, studying online with RAG, um, it might be a good idea just to sign up um, and see what that's like. Um, the Jess Kid writing courses are just one day, so they're about um, 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Um, some of the other ones, the awareness of mental health and wellbeing are over a few days. Um, but we understand that obviously working online and um, it's a lot of time looking at the screen so we have lots of breaks so that's what's happening over the summer i'm talking um now from september so the women's education office offer from um you know august uh, 2020 going into 2021 um if you know hillcroft you already will know that we do offer um, a residency option so this might be possible um, so this means for some courses and in certain circumstances you will be able to actually stay at the college um, if you do want to do this then you'd meet with myself or graham you'll have a chat with us you'll attend a personal planning and an induction session uh, where we'll basically ask you why it is that you think you'll benefit from staying with us residentially um, you will ask you know questions to make sure that we feel like you're safe to stay with us and that you'll benefit from us um, and then go from there. So just an overview of our offer uh, so as I said we've got different types of courses um, different in length and different in, in what you, you get when you come out whether it's qualification or a new skill um, we've got positive change and learning for wellbeing courses, uh, basic and life skills programmes, vocational courses, some more based around the career development um, and then routes to higher education. So I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about these. So our routes to higher education. 
So we've got our level two, which is GCSE English and Functional Skills Level two Maths. Uh, we've got our pre-access course, which is often delivered alongside um, GCSE English and Level one or two Maths as well. So you, you get that all together. And then we've got the level three access to humanities and social sciences, which actually after that, then if you wanted to, that would lead on to you um, accessing and going on to university study. We've got the vocational courses um, and actually these have widened this year. So we've got a lot of um, exciting areas that you can study in. Uh, we've got accounting and bookkeeping, uh, several courses in kind of teaching support child and adult social care, massage therapy, introduction to counselling skills, which is a new course that we're offering actually this year. We've got a range of IT and digital skills um, and under that, you know, we've got everything from different levels from beginners IT um, working with Excel, spreadsheets, uh, PowerPoint presentations. Um, you know, to more sophisticated like, like level two and level three IT courses. Um, and then we've got business um, and self-employment courses as well. Our basic and life skills programme courses. Um, so we've got, as I said, the IT courses as well. We've got our popular understanding dyslexia course, um, which runs quite regularly. We've got our ESOL courses. And um, so our English for speakers of other languages. And um, so with those ones, we invite you in to, to come and have an assessment with us first so we can see uh, what your level of English is. Um, and then we do kind of reading, writing and, and reading courses. Um, and then we've got uh, qualification and non-qualification courses um, in maths and English, entry level three and, and level two. So I know I'm going through this quite quickly. It's, it's a lot that we offer, but as I said, please, if you've got any questions, do put them in, in that chat bar. We've got lots of exciting positive change and community learning programmes. That's a bit of a mouthful. But basically, um, these courses um, really enhance well-being, like your knowledge in kind of just in, in life and, and being healthier and enjoying life more. Um, we've got arts, craft and design uh, for well-being. Um, we've got mental health and well-being courses. So actually, if you are interested in those type of courses, if you saw before, we are offering a few of those online over the summer. So if you wanted to join some of those as a kind of taster to understand what you might be getting into, you know, if you do decide to study this in September, but also to understand a little bit more about the college and a little bit more about how we deliver things online, then it might be worth checking those out. Uh, we've got um, a, a mental health and wellbeing course, um, and then we've got um, a developing healthy relationships and respect course as well online over the summer. We've got creative writing for wellbeing and self-confidence. Uh, so again, that one's going to be delivered online, um, at least for the first um, few instances, and then maybe it'll be blended and um, a bit of face-to-face -face teaching and online after that. Um, we've got parenting skills courses, again the developing healthy relationships, ukulele for wellbeing which has been really popular and also gardening courses over the summer as well. Um, our programme is um, supplemented with enrichment opportunities. So by, by that, by enrichment, we mean you know, other activities that you can um, partake as being a part, a community member, part of the community of, of RAC and, and the women's education offer. Um, and these may include um, arts and crafts activities, uh, trips to museums, theatres, um, other places of interest, um, guest speakers and visits from organisations and volunteer groups, um, I mean, we also have um, information advice and guidance sessions, so you'll get advice on kind of looking for work and, and benefits and things like that. Um, and also reading and writing club. So we've got a, a writing club at the moment. Um, obviously, we're having our writer in residence, Jess Kidd, at the moment. And we've got a lot of uh, enthusiasm towards creative writing. Um, and we've got a writing group where people share their creative writing work. Um, this is really important, so I just wanted to, to go over. Obviously, you are here because you want to either continue um, to study um, or you want to get back into studying. Um, and as I said, whether that's because you know what you want to do or because you're just kind of putting your feelers out and, and figuring out what it is that you're interested in. Um, but it is important that you are ready to undertake your programme of choice. 
So whatever programme that is that you apply to, um, we do expect some kind of commitment from you. You know, we want you to succeed. Um, so we would want you to have uh, the ability to be able to work well with others, uh, to undertake your, your course of study, you know, time wise, doing the homework. Um, some courses have certain entry requirements um, and you may have to undergo initial assessments of basic skills in an interview. So this is, goes back to what I was saying with the ESOL courses, the, the English um, as another language. So you, you, we do assessments basically to ensure that the course is right for you, that it's at the right level for you to succeed um, so that you can get the best out of it. Um, we expect high standards of punctuality, attendance and behaviour. So like like any college, you just, you know, we want you to, to be on time, you know, our teachers work hard as well and we want you to be able to succeed. OK. So just on that, because as I, on this slide, as I said, um, you know, we want you to be able to complete uh, your, your course and have the ability to complete it. But we do also understand that people have different learning needs as well. And what we pride ourselves with um, at RAC and, and in the women's education offer is that we do offer um, a lot of additional learning support. So if you are eligible, um, if you if you speak to us, if you put on your on your initial um, you know enrollment or application that maybe you, you feel you would need a little bit more support, then we will talk to you about that. We might do a, again an initial assessment. Uh, see what support that is that you feel like you need to succeed in the course that you want to do. And that can take different forms. So it could be that you've got somebody else in the classroom, whether that's a face to face on site class or whether that's a virtual classroom, that there's somebody else other than the teacher there um, who knows that you might need a bit of extra support. So we'll be checking in with you or even one to one support. So we have, um, you know, additional learning support workers who can meet with you one to one. Um, again, either face to face or or virtually, you know, online or on the phone, just to make sure that you're you're doing OK um, and check um, if you need any more support in completing the course that you're on. So as I said, we do encourage you to discuss your needs with us. Um, so whether that is that you've got um, a dyslexia, if you've got a physical um, or, or mental health needs. Um, and again, it's not because, you know, we're, we, we want to know um, because it's going to go against you for applying for our courses of anything. It's because we want to make sure that you have everything that you need and we know that people work in all different ways and learn in all different ways and we want to make sure that you've got all the support that you need to be able to, to complete what you're setting out to do with us. Okay. So I feel like maybe I'm, I'm speaking really uh, fast but oh, I've just lost my last slide. Basically, questions and next steps. So I don't know whether you have been putting questions um, into the chat box, um, but the next steps are um, if you already know what course it is that you want to do, um, you can enrol. Uh, so you can book your place on the course either online or by phone. Um, you can have a look. I mean, if you've got the, the course guide or if you have a look at the courses, um, online and uh, it does set out the different fees and the different concessions and bursaries that are available and um, so when you apply online you can either pay the fee um, or if you think that you are eligible for fee reductions and um, then you will um, enroll and then there'll be information that we'll need from you just uh, to enable you to get those reductions so for example if you're earning less than a certain amount a month um, if you're on benefits, um, then it might be that you get a fee reduction um, or the course for free. It's just that we'll need to have a little chat with you and get some documents from you just to prove that. Um, as I said, and there's a link there. I'm jumping ahead of myself. So if you if you just see uh, there, help with fees, there's a, there's a link there um, and that has all the information on our fees and, and discounts. Um, you can join our mailing list. Um, by emailing marketing at rack.ac.uk um, and follow us on all our social media. I'm more than happy, um, maybe I can go back to the beginning slides again. I'm sure that's a quick way to do that. But um, oh, I'm more than happy for you to email me. So if you can see the slide, I said my name's Sarah O'Hanlon and my email address is there um, as well if you wanted to, to have a little chat about that. Sometimes Obviously, it's unique to you with the fees. Um, if you've got a course that you particularly want to do, um, 
um, maybe it'd be helpful to have a chat with myself or I can signpost you to learner services uh, because depending on the course and on your situation you know that will depend on on what these um, on reductions you might have um, okay I think I've uh, covered everything 